There are only 151 Pokemon, the rest are fake. I think that's part of it. Buying into it now, it's like the same problem that's in a lot of media franchises or things like comic books, where like, if you want to get into it now, I mean, there's so much backlog. There's so many things that you're going to have to to go through. The, yeah, learning, because what's the grand total, including the fake Pokemon, as Zayfid refers to them? Is it like over 500 now, if I had to guess? That might even be an understatement. I know, right as we speak, my uh, my partner's playing the uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus downstairs. She's really been enjoying that that open world Pokemon a whole lot, and it's a lot of fun to to peek in and see what she's up to at any given moment. All sorts of spatial time distortions. Over 500, you sweet summer child. The hero was at 900. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely a bit of an understatement on my part. That's wild, though. I feel like I can at least recognize a lot of them on site. If I'm shown a random selection of images that may or may not be Pokemon in a kind of quiz-like format, I feel like I do okay. Better than your average kind of non-gaming person but definitely nowhere close to the encyclopedic knowledge that so many of the uh, the kind of real fans of the series are able to bring to the table. I love listening to my wife talk with her, her sibling about it, because the two of them can just go off and start listing, you know, tons of names and phrases that I've never even seen a glimpse of or heard a glimpse of in the past. I could go a mile a minute. It's good. Good solid fandom on that series, for good reason too. Definitely a lot of fun. Even as a bit of a late convert who has no idea what I'm doing, I've definitely enjoyed my my dabbling that I've done over my over the years. I feel like I have no choice but to at some point try out the new Pokemon, because Partner has just been completely entrenched in it for uh, the last couple days here, having a lot of fun. So yeah, how many of the almost 900 are uh, animal-based versus, like, I know that one of the, not most recent generations, but one of the later generations after the first was, like, all household items and stuff. That's where, like, the key Pokemon and whatnot come from, correct? Also, I was about to say what the heck is even that, but of course it's a it's a Joragumo. We all know what a Joragumo is. Excuse me? A spider spirit that takes the appearance of a human, weaves deadly magic to incapacitate and kill its prey. Ooh, so some more, like, negativity brought to the, the spider branch, hey? They ran out of ideas. That's fair enough. I think I would too. But okay, I expected something like this to happen. Do I want to risk this? We have 41 shielding. I think it's pretty good odds that we just reflect all these back. But is this worth it? Let's double check. What's your... What's your damage, friend? What you do with life? 9d11, so we could definitely take one straight to the face. A second one might be pushing it if they slip through our shield. But it's so tempting, you know? I think I have to go against my uh, my worst judgment here. And we'll head upstairs. Maybe take another center down? Exactly, I think so, Iostra, unfortunately. I want to be the epitome of... Uh, not the epitome, but the epitome of entertainment here and just watch everything ping pong around real quick get a real pinball machine going on but the prospect does frighten me if we're being honest let's try it in a more controlled situation like this where we only have maybe two orbs at a time that's more that's a bit more reasonable right we do see that we are actually almost instantaneously reflecting all these i need to get out of sight line of that zot trap though because Oh gosh, it just keeps going. <laughs> and, okay, there we go. One orb made it through. So this is where we start our retreat. Run to the hills. Perfect. 
And... That's the type of hit we don't want to take. A last stairwell. This one must be the secret, right? This is the, the sauce that we were looking for, ideally. I also missed my chance to use one of the new quality of life changes there because I do believe that with the capital A, we could change our auto pickup to just ignore those flame wands instead of me having to do it manually every time, but where's the fun in that? Perfect. That's so funny with my 41 shield reflecting all those orbs. Just absurd. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And there we go, blocking off another one. That's why it was so tempting to just stand in the middle of the horde and let things happen as uh, as they may be. Let the, uh, the chips land, as it were. But less than ideal, shall we say and probably would have ended in our death as we kind of saw against those later encounters or in those later encounters where it seemed like probably one in four maybe maybe even as low as one in eight we're making it through still a death sentence when you're surrounded by about 10 orb spiders launching from every direction okie dokie Swallowed my drink way too aggressively there and almost choked. <laughs> Never great. Never rush taking a sip of your drink. That's something that I've definitely learned to a certain degree over streaming, but I haven't quite internalized yet. And I still almost choke on that every time, or my own saliva, one or the other. And that also, we did confirm there that the pharaoh ants are what caused the simulacrums to, uh, to plop into existence. That's definitely something that we can keep an eye out in the future. Maybe not on this run because we have such ridiculous cold resistance, but on many other characters that we've had to bring through Spider in the past, could imagine that becoming an exceptionally crucial piece of information to keep in mind. And I'm going upstairs. Definitely don't want these wolf spiders getting enraged. As I just quickly get my weird hybrid bird pickups that I only ever seem to get well on stream just to to make sure that we're providing good audio visual experience for everyone involved gotta love the uh inconsistency and horrible timing on on bodily functions don't you but there we have it not too shabby all things considered Spider 3 is so much better than Spider 2 just because it's not a an exceptionally wide open area that we just drew the attention of almost every spider in the entire level instantaneously. Works out pretty nicely. And we get evocations and ranged. I actually think I missed one, maybe even two different curse categories throughout this. Whoopsie daisies. But this is pretty nice. I mean, evocations, we all know my uh, my opinions on it. That's going to be a double thumbs up from me. Ranged combat, a little less important now that we're not using our sling quite as often, but it does help with throwing. And throwing, much like unarmed, is one of those skills that I oftentimes will leave on until the end of the game because it does just continually give you advantages that are appreciable throughout the entire thing. If you have 27 throwing and a stack of javelins, you're going to be in business to say the least. So, I think we will take this curse, and this one... We do put on our Amulet of Reflection for now. Oh, this is actually tougher than I was kind of initially giving it credit for, because we do have a plan for the Abyss and for Zot 5 to potentially swap down off of this kind of setup. But we could save those two things for last. We could clear throughout all of Depths and Zot 1 through 4 with this setup here. And then just break the Amulet of Reflection at the very end of the day for those, those tricky trouble sections. And I think I will. I'll at least bind the Amulet of Reflection if we end up needing to change our strategy or our plan. Can always make it work. Also, wait a second, none of you saw me. Whoops. If you could just please come right this way, right this way, one and all, come get some. Perfect. 
meet your maker and all that good stuff. I'm gonna head back to the stairwell though. Those smites always gonna hurt. Guess the shield of the gong not exactly doing wonders against those sons of guns, hey? Oh, hello, Asterion. You shouldn't be too scary. The majority of your destructions... Actually, I was about to say the majority of the destructions we reflect back. But that's not true, because I think most of them are bolt spells that are piercing. So shielding won't be helping us out too much there. It'll be more of an evasion-based thing. But we still should be able to take care of this son of, gun, son of a gun rather fairly easily. I'll still phantom mirror you just to uh, kind of bring my own demons into the mix. And I do not want you getting enraged by the, the moth of wrath or the, the wrath of math as I so often love to phrase it. And absolutely beautiful. You fool. Amnesia, plus two kite shield, plus two kite shield. I mean, if that had been at the start of today's stream, that would have been an instant grab for me, but unfortunately, we're spoiled for choice at the moment, and so that's probably just gonna lay by the wayside. And let's keep it going. I'll leave Amnesia on the floor for the moment, that's fine by me. My spider friends could all come this way, come one, come all once more. Should almost be switching to my sling a little bit more consistently here between fights so we can start them off by softening up our targets like we just did there. And I actually kind of want to be more surrounded than I currently am. Famous last words, to say the least, almost definitely. But if I can pop somewhere where we don't have sight lines to the snail, this should be much smoother. Of course, as soon as I say that, the snail shoulders their way past the crowd here. But we're still doing okay. And I'm going to quiver our still to six javelins, hey? It's the issue with not getting shoals in your game is you never are guaranteed a good source of these sons of guns. And I do want javelins. Again, by the time we get to Zod, it'd be nice to have some way to take out summoners before they become an issue. Similarly, I want this Entropy Weaver out of my face before I get corroded into oblivion, if possible. I know it's a big ask, but would be nice. Would be pretty sweet. And oh, my choice of Knolls with Ash is such a nice uh, combination. Really amplifies the usual use what you find Knoll vibe. Yeah, Ash has quickly become my favorite. My old favorite for Knolls used to be... Um, at, or not action, sorry. That's what we're talking about now. My old favorite for Knolls used to be Okawaru for similar reasons, where your heroism is going to amp up all of your weapon skills, allowing you to really kind of be flexible in what you use for the first half of your, your run. But I think I used Ashen's Ariana Knoll for the first time in my YouTube series, where we're trying to get a win with every species. And now I just never want to go back, because it is just absolutely incredible what uh, kind of advantages you can get out of it. I mean, we haven't even gotten very lucky with our Ashen's Airy options for curses on this character. I think during that uh, that main series run, we had a lot of elemental choices being thrown at us, and that allowed us to cast like level eight um, elemental spells in a three rune run, which is not always a guarantee with Nulls. Oftentimes, eight and nine spells are a little bit out of reach on a shorter run. But you can kind of, yeah, get rid of the only real downside of a null and just absolutely roll face against the majority of enemies that you come across. It's awesome. I would highly recommend the, the combo for sure. Okay, I'm going to go back to some boomers here. Bring out the boomerangs because I cannot be bothered with these jumping frogs. <laughs> Uh, also not frogs, uh, spiders, that's what you're called. Also, it's kind of strange now that we have the uh, Calicavoras and Jumping Spiders, because I do believe that uh, Babs did some good research on Wednesday when we first saw the Calicavoras, and um, we found out that they are a type of Jumping Spider. So we do have a couple of those bad boys now, though 
the green friends, of course, are a bit more aptly named in their uh, their behavior, to say the least. Okie dokie. That's Spider 3, hey? Not too bad. Helps that we cleared out a bunch of the areas of the game that I normally wouldn't have needed to bother to before I come through Spider, so... Definitely not taking the new changes lightly. They do be hidden pretty hard and hurting while they're at it. But still can't complain now that we're in a pretty safe spot overall. And let's go back into our spells and take a look. Okay, Refrigeration, not likely to be castable. Even these level 7 spells in an Armored Null, with none of those Ashen Zari buffs heading towards that direction. Unfortunately, not a whole lot we can do to get these cast, but we'll see where it comes to. We could potentially get some advantages. The main issue on Fridge, of course, is that it's single spell. You always want multi-school things on a Null because it takes advantage of the fact that we are the most multi-school spellcaster you'll ever dang did see. I guess, can't say that as much now that there are genies in the game, and genies kind of deserve some credit in the category as well. Regardless, I don't think we'll need refrigeration. And actually, one other thing I did want to mention in our spell list here was that dispersal is coming down. And dispersal, I very much might want at our disposal in the future. Against like a juggernaut or something, it would be fantastic to be able to just remove them from our vicinity at any given opportunity. Maybe even combine it with something like the Ordinance File Clutch to just keep them back there and use our... Uh, why am I blanking? It's like Fistabula. <laughs> Why am I blanking on which? It's a Fustabalus, of course. Just switch up all the vowels, shuffle them down one. It's the same word, right? Not at all confusing. And of course, in a beautiful piece of timing, Ashenzari offers us our very first elemental curse. <laughs> a little bit late, bud. But I appreciate it. I think the only thing I can curse to me right now is my shield, unfortunately. So I wish I had boots. Find boot. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Just the one that's in that kind of special vault area. Well, that's too bad. Is there anything I want to break right now? Because not only is it elemental, it's also evocations, which I hate to just keep beating the drum, but evocations, absolutely fantastic in my book. So, I think what I might do here, oh right, no, if I shatter the chains, I lose the curse. Kind of forgot about that little bit of crucial information. What I was thinking of doing before I realized my mistakes in life was unbinding the ring of fire and switching it out for like a protection from fire instead or something to that extent but never mind i think we'll just have to sit tight that's the beautiful or terrible depending on your perspective irony of it all is that the moment that we find ourselves with the option for the elemental curse is when it's no longer at all a possibility for us moving forward and there we go, we get our first monsters, which means we've rung the gong, letting all the spiders know that dinner is ready and dinner is here. Which is not great. Also, Entropy Weaver, real pain in the butt, so I'm just gonna use Irradiate instead of trying to slap my way through them. Works out quite nicely. And again, new friends, new compatriots. If you could all come right this way, I have something very cool to show you upstairs. Absolute fools. They just didn't see it coming, you sons of guns. But this is our life now. Again, only possible because we got spider instead of snake, so pretty spectacular luck there in a lot of regards, especially with Aradia at our disposal. We've become a stair dancing god, essentially. Fantastic stuff. Is that it? Is there no one else? It's funny because I feel like the majority of people know that as the quote from, uh, that's from Troy. No, no, no. Is that Troy or Gladiator? 
gladiators are you not entertained is there no one else is troy i think it's achilles played by Brad pitt but that's what you think so you think i'm doing a like cool voice there but instead to me it's from like an old animated series that i used to watch in which a, a tiny little boy becomes the champion of an army and so it's always just his his string bean voice going is there no one else completely a different vibe of course but hello roxanne back to the the issue at hand here do i want to fight you we do have ridiculous reflection so ideally lahoo dibs screws you if things go poorly we can always silence as well so i think i do actually feel like i want to take you on in fact let's just start irradiating right away get some neutral damage coming through if possible and then if you blink us away then goodbye friend i guess that's it for us end of the relationship Roxanne, I, that's why I keep telling our therapist that you've been so distant lately. Just keep blinking me away. Here I thought we were in this together for the long haul. Okie dokie, as we come surrounded by a, a new group of individuals, a new group of friendly faces, I'm going to immediately retreat. And let's take care of these sons again. Unfortunately, I feel like Roxanne is going to heal up a decent amount. But it's a small price to pay when uh, when death is on the line. Apparently today is a big quote day, so I apologize if you don't enjoy reference humor, because that's apparently where my brain is at. So let's try our very best not to make the most classic of blunders. The first being, never start a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known. Never keep fighting Roxanne when death is on the line. You gotta come up with some kind of enticing factor for sure there, Ostra. Make sure you're reeling them in nice and good. It's a seductive call, because it's a surprise. It could be literally anything. So you gotta follow the strange knoll the weird null stranger up the stairs every time I feel. It's a bit of a, an unavoidable truth in life. Okay, Roxanne. The same old song and dance, hey? Well, I guess that's fine. It is what it is. We'll instead just have to fight some spiders. Silly, silly spiders. And maybe we just don't fight Roxanne because it looks like it's going to be a nightmare situation. Not that we're dying whatsoever. She just keeps blinking us instead of using her more lethal spells, which is, I mean, great from a certain perspective, but terrible from a, I just want to, uh, to fight you. Mano y mano, my friend. Okie dokie. Slowly but surely clearing our way through Spider Nest 4. This is where I was very concerned because I was wondering if there was going to be yet another set of spider enemies that we hadn't yet discovered. It's wild that we got rad roaches on floor one and then haven't seen them since, because I feel like the rad roach was actually the scariest enemy. And still would be, even with our current setup, their radiation, or the shield of the Kong rather, would not help us against their radiation, neither would our evasion, so I feel like we've kind of dodged a bullet just getting lucky enough not to have a swarm of those bad boys, even though made a very uh, silly mistake in mentioning it now. I probably should have waited for us to finish clearing Spider. Then I could have jinxed myself to heart's content. <laughs> Instead, I've pretty much guaranteed that the final vault area of Spider is just going to be filled to the brim with rad roaches, and that's just going to be our life for now. Let's hope that I was also wrong about how bad it would be for us, and that maybe we're just okay and we get out in one piece. That'd be pretty swell. Ambrosia, I probably do want just in case. It's nice to have around in the back pocket if you need some level of healing for both your health and your magic. I think what I should do, and probably should have done already by this point, 
shatter some chains get rid of our lame gloves that aren't doing a heck of a lot for us except my one regret that I immediately realized upon breaking the chains and destroying them uh, irreversibly was that they were the best color match for our outfit it was nice to have the kind of coppery orange gloves with the copper armor plate but hopefully cross our fingers I mean these gloves probably look great too right fantastic actually yellow kind of works it means that we have a few different themes going on we have the bronzy brown the orange we have the bright yellow and we have the red so maybe something's got to give eventually here but for the time being I'm happy with the fit looking good Definitely can't complain at the very least. And now let's just make all the noise that we possibly can. I'm curious, this final area might have some doors involved. Ah, they do. Over here. So, no please. No thank you. I am not interested in your doors. Let's fight. At least we're in this corner where a lot of the enemies are getting real confused as to what exactly to do here. In fact, let's maybe amplify said issues by walking even further into the corner. Because fortunately, spiders are quite stupid. Otherwise, we might be in for a bit of a nightmare. Oh, you're going to turn into Simulacrum because of the Pharaoh? Or not? Is it like a spell that you do? It binds the souls of its allies when slain. Oh, when we kill the Pharaoh ant. Oh, that's so interesting. So Pharaoh ants have relatively low health hit pretty hard so you want to kill them quickly but if you kill them first before the other spiders then you're potentially in trouble i like that that's a tricky mechanic they got going on very sneaky devs very sneaky sometimes read and tell you one turn before opening a spider ball is preferable because of the surround that you might otherwise get definitely pretty much anytime you're in the final floor of a rune branch and you see a set of doors especially with like a four wide set of doors you know that you want to potentially be taking emergency measures before they're uh, strictly necessary, to say the least. Also, battle of attrition with these Emperor Scorpions. Apparently these fights just go on forever. This is where, if I did use the RC file edits to get rid of Force Mores, I'd probably be in a slightly happier place. But at the same time, having to click the, the button for more does allow us to make sure that we see each and every single gong message. You gotta know that you're you're sprung and gong and brong and across the entire dungeon, right? Do there's something in the way. Oh, it's because you're blinded by Ashen Sari game. Apparently does not play well with uh, ranged combat in general. Actually, even going back to what you were saying, I keep saying Iostra, let me know if I'm saying your name right. If you have a preferred title, nickname, anything like that, always happy to do my best to remember those types of things. But uh, going back to what you mentioned there, I feel like I've learned the hard way to kind of follow that level of planning because the first time that I ran into the spider vault that looks like this, I definitely just ran headfirst into those doors and opened them up without a care in the world, not even thinking it through for one iota of a second. And very much came to regret such decisions. So, gotta learn the, the hard way, but at the same way, the most uh, assured way to make sure that you take those lessons into the next life. Learn more from our mistakes than we do from our successes. Protection from cold? No, thank you. Should have, again, got to use those capital A's and actually turn off the, the auto pickup for that. My bad. Do, do, do. So this one, I believe, is full of death scarabs and ghosty monsters, right? Do I want to read a teleport here? We have six total. We will likely need a lot of those for either the Abyss or for Zot to get out of scary situations. I feel like with this character, we could almost get away with not using it. So I think I might not. In fact, what I may do is just open the door, make new friends, 
Or, wait, someone saw me, right? I believe some death scarabs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, come here, buddy. I should have also just moved my mouse off the screen. I always forget to do that, but I'm sure it annoys um, some people in the audience. So I apologize for that. And now I almost want to get surrounded because a surround is just another opportunity to uh, really cause some radiation damage on all of our foes. As we failed to cast it the first time, of course. Perfect timing. Re way to prove my point game. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> That's you right before you die to this. Let's hope it's not the same for us today, shall we? Though, I'd probably deserve to die with this level of hubris. Again, they unfortunately didn't think to come up with a, an R hubris ego for weapons in the game, and so it becomes a very serious concern and problem. I almost prefer to be surrounded, because at least the Death Scarabs can't do their annoying hopping about behavior. Just come fight me, you cowards. Thank you. It's so nice to hear my humbling words of knowledge, can totally relate. Yeah, always a, a bad situation the first time you come across a lot of those issues, but I got better. Which I feel like that one I should almost clarify is very much a, a Monty Python reference and not me actually claiming as such because if anything I feel like in the last month or so it, it feels like I've gone worse to a certain degree, doesn't it? <laughs> Tengu and Deep Elf has been a, a rough set of challenges in our attempts to win with every species. <laughs> Though to be fair, they are also the low HP buddies that are a real pain in the butt to get through. At least depending on your playstyle, of course. But okie dokie, let's find some more stuff to drop here. Because we finally got boots! Who knew? I didn't think they even existed in this dungeon, based on previous uh, circumstances. Maybe a piece from Zom's chessboard is going to have to go for now. Appreciate your service. You did actually help us out in the early part of the dungeon, but I'm unlikely to ever resort to that again. And Boots of Rampaging. Gotta remind myself mentally a little bit that I have Boots of Rampaging on. Because this is unfortunately a combination that I've forgotten about before to very detrimental circumstances. Very much like opening the doors of spiders without thinking enough about it beforehand. So ideally, we'll ignore that. Wait, why am I finding new areas? Had I just never realized that Roxanne could see there? Excuse me, game. I'm very confused. There, nothing tunnels through rocks in this area, I don't think. Huh, how about that? Let's give this one final go, though. Me versus Roxanne. Three minutes in the ring. Please reflect her LCS back at her. That'd be nice. I've also miscast Irradiate multiple times there, which fortunately hasn't happened for a while outside of this combat. But there we go. So fitting. So beautifully poetic that we kill Roxanne with their own Crystal Sphere. Get absolutely wrecked, buddy. Respectfully, of course, Roxanne. I appreciate everything you brought to the spellcasting community, especially being a guaranteed source of statue form on all of my octopodes and felids. Definitely always crossing your fingers and hoping you run into Roxanne if you're playing either of those species, because as long as you can find some way, any way, to kill her, you're going to be okay for the rest of the run with that statue form. But there we go, we got our second rune, so now it's just about time to normally i'd say start thinking about our third rune but in this case i think we're just going to head to depths potentially even oh wait no we can't start off zot right i was thinking about doing zot one through four with the gong equipped still might end up doing that and just swap out for abyss swap back for zot one through four but a little bit of a a change of plans at the very least. Let's maybe, while we're in lair, let's head down and finish off lair six since we never got around to that. And yeah, I was right, I definitely agree. That's the safe option is to clear vaults one through four, get more experience, get more treasure. Definitely a good idea and I would highly recommend it. 
because I'm slightly concerned about overall time and because this character is just really strong in the first place, I'll probably dive right into depths. I might just ignore vaults completely as long as we get all the kind of pieces to the puzzles that we need before then. If it's a possibility, we might end up swapping or ignoring vaults one through four, but that is definitely a, uh, a good call and something that I'd otherwise observe, especially if I was playing offline on my own and had all the time in the world. Pretty much should always head through vaults first just to get that extra bit of experience and all that good stuff. But let's wake up the entirety of layer six, shall we? Now this one should actually be kind of fun. We came here, well, pretty far ahead of where we'd normally be. So I'm feeling like we can kind of just sit here and uh, face the music as everyone comes our way. If people could please walk around. Why is the Komodo is not okay? Don't know why the Komodo didn't realize that there was a path to me, but probably shouldn't complain about such things. That's just asking for uh, regret in the future. We like to live with no regrets. Or is it? It's no regrets, probably, but you get the point. And a boulder beetle could be no problem. Really, is that it? Obligatory is there no one else, are you not entertained quotes. That's all we have to deal? I mean, there's so much howling going on every time we strike a gong. I feel like you friends have got to know where I am by now, right? Like, get over here. Come on, buddies. Come on, come all. Join the party, join the squad. And fall to my fists, ideally. For me, of course. Less so for you. Less than ideal, maybe, for the, the yak packs and the like. But there we go. I guess the one nice thing, if we had decided to, instead of going the unarmed route, take up a broad axe or something like that, would make these situations a bit easier with the cleave damage. But ideally, in the future, we're going to be mostly fighting things one on one. And so we'll definitely be wanting unarmed for those kinds of situations. Losing out on one curse slot for Ashen Zari is a small price to pay at the very least. Speaking of which, I wanted to do a quick check to make sure I'm not missing any curses. But looking okay in that regard. Sorry, Wolf, I feel very bad about this, but I will have to kill you. Such is business, my friend. And it is just business. Ooh, a Bogart. That's annoying. Oops, let's not smack a bush real quick. Let's instead start walking here. Just popping around the corner so that the Bogart won't, won't uh, continually summon while we wait. And there you are, friend. If you could just walk right this way, that would be greatly appreciated. I guess not. That's fine. Instead, we'll have to switch to a piercing weapon. Please don't mulch my javelins. I would feel very unhappy about it. There we go. Fantastic. Let's wake up the entirety of any level, why not? Exactly, it's the only way I know. The only plan is a loud one. I mean, when you're dressed to kill, you gotta make an entrance, right? If you're playing on a character this strong, you gotta make your presence known. You gotta make sure all the monsters know what's up in the dungeon. And might as well do it an entire floor at the time, right? But okie dokie. This is where it's really dangerous, where I'm just spamming through all the Force More messages as well. But, again, I do feel like if there's any location in the game that we can get away with it, it is coming to Lair 6 this late in the, the run where we've already kind of become established. I'm ready to, again, be made to eat these words, take a, a crazy amount of damage from everyone around us, but apparently the game is going to let me be slightly overconfident, at least for this moment in time. Though I doubt that it will uh, remain a, uh, a safe route forward. I also didn't realize that we're up to 30 AC now thanks to our armor training, so that's absolutely huge. Starting to feel a little bit weak in that department over the last little while here. But with 41 shielding and 30 AC, there ain't nothing the dungeon can do to me. It's true because it rhymes. Ah. Hello, my little Bogart friend. 
definitely once again try to take you out real quick, even though it might be more processed than initially intended, but there we have it. Not too bad. And spam, spam, spam. I actually taken more damage than expected. I guess it's the Spriggan Rider. So just to uh, bring me face to face with them a moment earlier. Let's start irradiating. I guess there was a bit more of a, a surplus of enemies than I was initially giving credit for, but there we go. And then as soon as we can stand next to you, it's pretty much game over. My friend, what else could we do? We could ice blast you. We'd hit ourselves, but it likely kills everything. So let's do it. Fantastic. Everything in that corner, of course, but that's all we needed, all we're really looking to do. And that has to be the majority of this floor by this stage. And oh my gosh, I've remembered for once in my life. Always ignore poison darts. Please and thank you, game. Appreciate you asking. So polite, so thoughtful. And apparently I was very wrong. I guess we probably woke all these buddies up, but they were at least kind of far enough back in their their cave that they were just getting confused by the path findings so that's fair we all have trouble in life finding our way sometime and sometimes i guess to actually say a word with the proper uh order of words or plurality i guess in this case okie dokie Bunch of Bogarts should be okay in this situation. At least the first one went well because it walked right up to us like a fool. I would appreciate it if the rest would do so. Also, if anything is likely to contribute to lag on the server for all the Webtiles folks out there, I'm sure just me spamming this, this tab space combination is not exactly ideal, but sometimes these things need to be done, unfortunately. Scarf of Repulsion, no thank you. Hey, there's that rad roach. So this was one of the rad roaches that we discovered on floor one of Spider that immediately scared us and we ended up dropping it down a shaft. Fortunately, bringing it down to layer six. Wonder how I do against you. I guess you're vulnerable to silver and now we have ridiculous throwing. So if I just switch to my silver boomerangs. Oh buddy, I feel sorry for you, honestly. But we'll definitely base it in the end with some irradiation here. It's a lot like when you come across a uh, a stone giant or a cyclops on a troll character with throwing. You gotta face them using their own medicine, you know? Make it a fair fight, large rock versus large rock. It's the only way to go about it. Gotta do the same when we're given the opportunity on this side of the equation as well. Okie dokie, anything else that I can drop, make some more room as we continue to collect more goodies throughout the course of our journey. I guess resist corrosion ring, probably just drop for a while, that's fine. Polymorph, we could end up against shapeshifters, but I do kind of need the spots, no? Hmm. I guess we could just drop those, and what, or that rather. And what I'm going to do instead... Let's read some enchant weapon, and let's just put this on our Fusta Ballos. Might still be using it as some level of utility throughout the rest of the run, so I do feel like that might be a lovely little addition. I also, now that we're done Spider, I'm going to rebrand said Fusta Ballos. We get Chaos. <laughs> huh. How about that? Imagine that rad roach meeting the same opponent two hours later, but just twice as strong. Honestly, just feel kind of sorry for the buddy. Never stood a chance. Probably came into it with a decent sense of, of ego and self-confidence and just absolutely floored. I mean, maybe the big shiny shield should have tipped them off, so a bit of natural selection at play, but still an unfortunate situation for anyone. Do I want chaos on you? So I know jumping pretty quickly between topics there, but super rare to get chaos from a brand weapon. Could be fun. Could also just end up hasting and mighting like a juggernaut and hating my life for the rest of eternity. So it's a tough call to make. For now, I guess I can leave it. 
without too much risk. It's not like we have to resort to the Pusta Ballast. And instead, it can be a bit of a decision that's made at runtime at any given opportunity. 